are now going to make a keto friendly pizza that makes two servings. I usually cut mine in half and have one one day and save the other for lunch the next day. So to start off with your ingredients, you are going to need one and a half cups of mozzarella, two tablespoons of cream cheese, two large beaten eggs, and a third of a cup of coconut flour or almond flour. I have my almond flour right here. Now, you're going to need to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You are going to want to put a parchment paper on a baking dish, as I have done here, and set it aside. Now, this recipe is also called Fathead Pizza Crust. For those of you who have already maybe done some research on keto recipes, it's pretty much the same thing. So, it says to add a cup and a half of cheese. Mozzarella provolone is the best kind. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. Mm. Now we're going to microwave this for about 90 seconds. Now while that is melting in the microwave, I'm going to crack my two eggs. And I'm gonna beat them. Now our cheese has just come out of the microwave. Give it a good stir. And you wanna do this while it's hot. You're going to mix. Now we're going to add one third of a cup of almond flour or coconut flour if you prefer. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm mixing it in a bowl. However, I would typically put this in my Kitchen Ninja to really blend it into a dough. It is quite sticky, um, so it's a little tedious getting it in and out of containers. Um, so use your judgment if you want to do it in a bowl or in a blender. Totally up to you. Um, it's not really going to have a typical dough consistency. However, it is thick, almost like a custard. Now we're going to Bring our parchment paper, half an inch thick. To, you don't want it too thick. You're going to bake this for approximately five to ten minutes at 450. Now, what I should have done. Prior to baking it is poking holes so it doesn't um, bubble up like that. So if it did, just poke holes with it with a fork flatten it out. Now you can put um, your choice of toppings on it. Um, I get some Hunt's tomato paste. It seems to have the least amount of sugar, but if you can find one that's, this one has three grams of sugar. If you can find something that's even lower than that, great. This is what I could find at my local store. Use about a tablespoon. Maybe two tablespoons. I spread it. 
all over the pizza. Pepperoni. This is turkey pepperoni that I found at my local grocery store. It has zero carbs in it. Some yellow peppers. I'm a big, big fan of green olives on pizza. Um, I would have liked to have put mushrooms on here, but I don't have any. And then you can top it off with some more pizza mozzarella. This is not going to need to be cooked for very long. Um, I usually will put it on the broil setting uh, just to broil the top and get it nice and bubbly. And there you have it, your pizza. Um, I just broiled it for maybe three to four minutes. Um, it did set off my fire alarm, so be careful. It does get a little smoky. I'm gonna cut this in four pieces. Two pieces is a serving, and it's approximately three or two net carbs per serving. So I hope you enjoy. Please comment below. If you would like to follow some more keto recipes, please subscribe down below and hit that post notification bell so you can see the next keto recipe that I post on this channel. Hope you enjoy. Have a good day.